Well, guys, I'm off work. Um, I got paid for eight hours. In 600 and, feet, um, turn left onto South Hamilton Street. And um, this is downtown Ypsilanti, in case you guys are wondering. This is pretty much downtown Ypsilanti, Michigan. And uh, this is the business district. So, anyway, I'm uh, going to the bank to make a deposit. Yeah, it's that tight. But um, it worked out good. Uh, and I don't have to go try to find a bug out, I mean, a, um, a stealth spot because the guy uh, let me run my cord into the building so I can uh, plug in into the Take building. the next left onto South Hamilton Street. I can plug right into the building and um, I got power to run my uh, everything in the truck so I can just hang out right there and I'll be at work first thing in the morning I'll be already there so I don't have to burn any gas you know driving through city through town so that's even better Continue for two miles. Okay. I'm running an errand right quick, and then I'll be back to the job. Well, there the truck is there. This is the back of the building. There's a trailer we feel right there. The owner let me uh, run a cord from the truck into the building there, and I got power, so I'll be able to get in the back of the truck right here. And this is pretty well hidden from any prying eyes. Except for maybe people over there in those apartments. I don't think they're paying much attention. And people that ride past, they're gonna be coming fast so fast, they're not gonna be thinking about me. So, anyway, I'll be able to sit here and chill. Right now I'm letting Cole do some running around, work off that energy. Um, and then, uh, then we'll turn in for the night. You know, I don't want to be coming out here, backing up into this thing in the dark. You know, that'll draw too much attention. And it'll look kind of suspicious. So, while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and let Cole run around. Then we're going to turn in and hunker down for the night. I got some stuff for us to eat in there. I'm going to microwave it. You know, I'm not going to be cooking any food out here because uh, that would draw too much attention. So anyway, this turned out good. I got a free night, a place to stay, plenty of heat in the truck. I got my light in the truck and everything. Um, I didn't have to pay for another night at the campsite or nothing. And I'm at the job, so I ain't gotta drive nowhere. I'm, I'm, I'm already here. So get up in the morning, take Cole out here, let him run around a little bit. And then, ah, uh, uh, he tripped a little bit there. And then put him back in the truck. You know, pull around the front and go inside and go to work. We're starting early tomorrow, 8 o'clock. The uh, trucks say they'll be here about 8 o'clock tonight. So they're not gonna, they say we're not gonna wait until 8 o'clock tonight to unload the truck in the dark and everything. So they're gonna sit out there in the parking lot overnight until morning and then we'll unload the truck at that point, you know, so. Yeah, the man paid us around the spot, and uh, everything worked out good.
everything worked out real good. So, yeah. Cole's taking off to parts unknown. He's been cooped up in that truck for most part of the day. It's sprinkling a little bit, but every so often, just little sprinkles. You know, sky still pretty solid, cloudy, but uh, it's not cold at all. In fact, it's nice. Really, is nice. Look at him go. I mean, he's just running around. You know, he was cooped up in that truck pretty much part of the day. <clears throat> but it worked out good. So, this is how we're doing our Friday. I'm going to go over there and see what he's running to over there. I saw a little homeless encampment in that little bunch of trees right there. A little spot for a chair and some a little table over there so some homeless people probably was over there for a while they probably got another one over there that'll be a good spot because it dips down so you can't see anybody back there so they're probably back there but anyway gas prices are up i didn't get any gas because i refused to pay the price you know Besides, it's Friday. So, of course, they raised the price on Friday. So, I'm here. And uh, I ain't got to go nowhere. I'm at the job. So, tomorrow, I'll still be at the job in the morning. We'll work here when we get off. It'll be Saturday, so traffic won't be so bad. And I'll take off. And uh, the gas prices might come down a little bit. Enough to where I can buy some. If not, I'll go ahead and use the five gallon gas can I got in the truck that I was going to use for the uh, generator <clears throat> something lives in there that's a hole right there something that dug out there's one there and there's one here yes yeah, something lives in there there's coal over there I guess he doesn't even know. Something there. Hole right there. Hole right here. Yeah, I don't know what lives here, but something is. What is that? That looks like a... No, I thought it was like a cabbage or something. I don't know what that is. There's a couple of them. And there's more right there. Yeah, so, anyway, <clears throat> there's no trail out here for us to walk on. Where, how did he disappear that fast? I mean, you just saw him, right? I'm panning the whole horizon. Do you see him anywhere? Anywhere. Cole can disappear. I mean, he can literally disappear. He's like a little spirit. Wait, there he is. That looks like somebody's garden over there. They got it blocked off. Probably to keep rabbits out. <clears throat> oh, I forgot. This is private property over here. We're not even supposed to be over here. They say they will prosecute. I'm going to go get him. And we're going back to the truck. I forgot about that. Yeah, I just want to see what this is over here. Somebody got blocked in. And uh, another one over here. I'm thinking maybe it's two people in this apartment building here. Got some kind of a garden going over here. Yeah. Yeah, that's something right there. I don't know what those are. But they're uh, some kind of plant. Oh, yeah. It's a garden, all right. Looks nice. I know those over there are onions. I think and that's a flower right there. Nice. And they got it blocked off nicely. 
There's one over here that got started. Got some flowers over there. And they got some, I don't know what those are. But, uh, and they got some water barrels over here. There's a shovel and tools and stuff. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna get out of here and get back over to the truck. Make myself scarce, me and Cole. Come on, buddy, let's go. Let's get out of here. Yeah, so, anyway. Like I say, things, things turned out good today. Turned out real good. So, I'll make the day tomorrow. Uh, there shouldn't be much to do tomorrow. Unload the truck that might take an hour or two. And then, uh, of course, we got to put those, uh, I think there's some cabinets or some uh, shelves or something. We got to put those together. We'll put those together. That shouldn't take too long. You know, I'm pretty good at stuff like that. There's a homeless encampment down there. You can tell because there's trash down there. There's a basket right there, one of those crates, milk crates. And there's an old chair down there. There's another crate right there. Homeless people love to use those because you can carry stuff in them and they make a good seat to sit on. And like I said, this is down in the hole right here. So it's very well uh, camouflaged. You know, people can't see you. And if, you, if you're not seen, you know, you're not thought about. So that's pretty cool. You just don't want to be seen. So that's why there's another hole right there. Whatever these are that made these holes, they live in that. I don't know what it is. But uh, yeah. And I don't want to be seen. That's why Cole and I are going to get into the, into the truck. And uh, I'm going to upload this video. And I'm going to watch other videos. I'll binge watch some videos from other people. Other uh, truck campers and other people that have made videos. Sometimes when people make comments on my video, I'll check out their channel to see if they got any content and whatever. So if you, got a count, if you make a comment and you got a channel, you want me to check it out, Please feel free to let me know in the comments. Come on, Cole. And uh, I'll check you out. I'll give you a shout out too. And uh, I'll like and subscribe to your channel as well. You know, that'll be one more subscriber. You know, it doesn't cost me anything. And you got yourself another subscriber to help you out. And uh, Speaking of which, I'd appreciate if you uh, give me a like on my channel. I know Cole appreciates it. You know, we get us a thousand subscribers. I might start making a little money off of this or whatever. Because I put a lot of effort into it. But uh, anyway... I'm gonna get in the truck and hunker down and try and be as inconspicuous as possible. Cole and I are gonna act like a hole in the universe.